The beauty about America, amongst many of its characteristics, is its size, a continent almost unto itself. You find gems now and again that surprise you. And so it was recently when I was watching Newsmax and I saw a young lady I'd never heard of before who was eloquent, who was forthright, who was robust when it came to the threat of communism. And that's why we've invited her onto my show, The Gorka Reality Check. Morgan Zeggers, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So um, I just discovered you. Uh, apologies if uh, I should have known about you earlier. You uh, represent an amazing organization called Young Americans Against Socialism. Most of the people we've had on my show to discuss the truth of communism in Cuba or Eastern Europe or Asia and elsewhere have personal histories. Tell us your reason. Why did you create this organization and why are you such a, a vehement advocate to push back on this ideology? Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about it because it's a passion of mine. I myself am just a history nerd and my dad is a colonel in the U.S. military. And so I just have such a great appreciation for our country and what it stands for, classical liberalism and capitalism, economic freedom. I founded Young Americans Against Socialism after I had a communist roommate in college. And much to my surprise, I had no idea what to say to her as she's saying her ideas were going to bring progress and equality to America. But at the same time, she had a poster of Mao Zedong, Lenin, and Karl Marx and Fidel Castro on her wall. And so I did some research and I found out that the best way to change a young person's mind or even just reach them with an opposing viewpoint is actually reaching them via peer, not via parent or professor. And so I've decided to champion peer-to-peer -peer communication by making educational content for social media to reach the many, many young people out there that think they want socialism and really are just being lied to by the radical left. Yes, and your social media content is excellent. Morgan, give us a snapshot. So you told the story on my radio show about this college roommate who was a proud, avowed communist here in America. Give us a snapshot of just how bad it is in your generation amongst Americans who think that communism is cool. Of course. Well, when I first met my communist roommate, I was pretty inexperienced. I'm from upstate New York, farm country, and so I've actually been hating Andrew Cuomo for many years before it was cool. Now it's the cool thing to do, right? Uh, and I went to college, and this girl had a poster of these mass murderers and dictators on her wall in our house that we were living in. And I was shocked because she was saying the same talking points that you hear from AOC and Bernie Sanders and the squad. But it really went against what the actions of the people on her wall carried out over the 20th century. And so first of all, I think it's it's really important for people like my roommate to hear it firsthand from survivors. You mentioned that earlier. And firsthand testimony is really, there's no better way to reach somebody with a painting a very vivid picture of the horrors of communism. I would say, though, my communist roommate was very well-intentioned. And so my plea to the older Americans out there is to understand there's a major difference between the young people that think they want socialism and the actual radical leftists like uh, the founder of Black Lives Matter, who identifies as a trained Marxist. Those people are fully read on ideology, and they plan on implementing, seizing the means of production, implementing totalitarianism to get rid of any opposing thought, and using authority, authoritarianism, to actually carry out their plans. What's different, though, is my generation, we're just very well-intentioned. We want to help others, and we see problems in our country that the socialists are telling us we can solve with their ideas. So we have to message to the radicals and to the naive young people in two different ways. Well, we do, but we also must remember that good intentions uh, can lead you to damnation and to hell. Many people who are in favor of revolutions in Russia or in China well, they created a permissible environment for mass murder. It's not only your amazing organization, Young Americans Against Socialism, but I found out you also are an entrepreneur. You have your own business. It's zeggersfreedomflags.shop. And you actually, you make these flags, correct? You actually, you build these beautiful wooden celebrations of America. 
I do. And, you know, at the time when I started it, it wasn't so controversial to support the American flag. But now you have news commentators that are scared of the sight of uh, the red, white and blue, which is just shocking to me. But speaking of college, I actually started it in college to pay off my student debt. And once I did that, I actually turned it into a family business. So now my dad makes them. My mom works there full time and we do really well. So Zegger's Freedom Flags dot shop. I mean, I, I sign the flags if people want. I do really whatever they want to them and we can really customize. So we just love making them and to know that they're going into a home to celebrate the principles of America just really makes my day every time. It's very fulfilling work. That's beautiful. Check out this ladies organization, Young Americans Against Socialism, and do what I'm going to do. As soon as I'm off air, I'm ordering not just one, but several of her beautiful flags. It's zeggersfreedomflags.shop. You give us hope, Morgan. God bless. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.